Welcome to my tutorial on LaTeX. I assume you already have my URL, but if you don't, here it is at the top of the screen so you can go to it. This web page has everything that I'm going to go through on this presentation and a little bit more. What you're going to see is the first bit are a couple programs that you can install or different things to modify, ways to actually customize the programs themselves to use LaTeX, which, by the way, is not a program. It's not anything you're going to find on the internet. It's a programming language, so you have to install other programs to actually run it, sort of like C++ or Java type things. What you can see also down here is a couple of files or commands that I've put together so you can begin your first LaTeX file and not have any trouble. And at the very end of the document is a presentation mode called Beamer. I have some code that you can go ahead and copy and paste in to get you started. It's a really cool professional presentation mode that's much, much better than Microsoft PowerPoint. So I suggest you pick it up, especially if you're in grad school and looking to go on the job market. The first thing you need to do is install the backbone to LaTeX, which is called MicTech. MicTech is the most common backbone. For if you go to their website, two different options you have. You have the basic MicTech and the complete MicTech. I only suggest you use the basic if you have a really high speed internet connection or if you're extremely conserved on the amount of space that you have on your hard drive. Otherwise, I would go ahead and suggest that you install the complete MicTech version. You really need to install this if you have a laptop too. The difference is that the basic MicTech installs on the fly the packages that you need. If you don't have an internet connection or if it's really slow, if you're walking around a laptop, it's going to take forever to compile these files. So install the complete one and you avoid all those troubles. After you have Backbone, you now can actually run LaTeX files and compile them. However, you don't have anything to do that with. So the next thing you need to do is install programs such as WinEdit, which I use now, or Lix, TechMaker, Scientific Word. There's a number of programs that you can get. I started with Lix when I was beginning because it's a what you see is what you get, and it was easy to use and learn and pick up stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up real quick, and then I transitioned to WinEdit when I got familiar with the commands. So if you have File New and open up a new file, you can type in anything you want. This is the file that I am creating. I'm going to have a math mode and no math. What you can do is you can actually just highlight words, click on the buttons here, and it puts it in italics. You can do a math mode by clicking on the A plus B over C. It brings up a box. If you double click inside of there, then you will have, actually it's a right click, sorry, you will have a math panel that comes up. You double click on here and you're going to get commands that will come up. You can click in here and you'll get the math matrix. You can put a matrix, matrices, you can put an exponents, fractions, all sorts of stuff. You can put letters or numbers that go above or below different phrases or expressions. To actually see how this is written in LaTeX, you have to export it into LaTeX. And when I open it, I open it up and win edit the program that I use now, and you'll see the real code. So when it opens this up, what we can see here is we have the document class defined as an article, and we have some packages up here. These packages within your document will be what tells the computer how to compile and run certain information in LaTeX mode. So it's the thing that you're going to use if you're going to want to include PDF packages or highlight stuff or special font formats or tables, things that really aren't included in the normal LaTeX uh, packages. Now down here between the begin and end document tags is what we've compiled, or what we've written at least, we haven't compiled it yet. So you can see this is the file, and you can see the nth tag is the thing that creates the italicies in LaTeX, and then you can see the dollar signs or a math mode, there's a couple different types of math modes that you can use within LaTeX. You can see this is purple right here. It's because you need a space actually within here. Sometimes what happens is that these will run together and Lix doesn't really give you a great output in LaTeX mode. So you have to come in and edit and take some stuff out when you uh, want to compile. But it's at least good to get started. The next thing I can show you right here with WinEdit is a file I'm working on. You can see I have a bunch of different types of packages. They rotate tables, sub figures, all sorts of stuff, and then I have my actual text. Within my text, I'll have citations of authors that I'm quoting. And at the very end, after you see my figures and my table, is my bibliography. The cool thing now about WinEdit is that it comes up with what's called a bib file. In these bib files, you just type in the normal works cited or reference type information. And you can get this actually on JSTOR. If you go to the website, you just do to BibTeX format, and you would get something like this and just copy and paste in your bib file. And when you compile this file, what happens is that LaTeX is really smart, or WinEdit is one of the two, and they will go ahead and put in green your references on your screen. When you click on them, you'll see that not everyone is in here. So the reference I just had right in here 
in this bib file for Murray Sarth is not in the final file. Why? Because I didn't quote him. So I didn't use that paper so it doesn't come up in my references. Really cool thing about LaTeX. Now the next thing that you can do is actually customize WinEdit. If you click on WinEdit, you see these buttons up here. I use Theta, ArcGIS, and MATLAB quite frequently. So what if I want to add those buttons there? What you can do is actually open up the WinEdit folders and under WinEdit bitmaps and then buttons, you're going to actually need to place any bitmap icons into there and then back up one level. Right click this and go to edit. And you'll see all the bitmap buttons. So if you scroll all the way down, the thing you have to do is add the next consecutive number and add the path to the icon that you just created. Then what's going to happen is if you right click in here and go to edit tool bar setup, you can put it right in here. It'll actually appear in this table down here. Up top is the actual items, the menu items that you saw on the previous screen. These are the possible icons that you can choose from. So, say you want to add another one. You've already put your icon in there. What you do is you right click, go to menu setup, and there's a folder right here. You click on the folder, and there's the customized ones I've already put in there. If you click around on them, you'll see that under the utility row, my path is actually already specified in there. What you can do to add a new one is do the downward arrow, left click it, and go down to utility. It adds a new one, you name it, put in the path to it, add the button right here, whichever one you want, click OK, and it appears in WinEdit. To get out of this, just right click, click on apply if you're making a new button, or cancel in my case, and good to go. So, where do you go from here? What's the next thing that you should be doing? Scroll down on my page, click on the not so short guide to LaTeX, and read it. It takes about two, two and a half hours to give you a good synopsis of what LaTeX is, how it works, basic commands, and don't memorize it, just get a good idea of what goes on when you're actually writing a LaTeX file. Reference it back later on. After you read this file, you have a really good understanding of what LaTeX is and what it's capable of doing, which is pretty much everything. So, read that file and have fun. Good luck.